Greetings, and welcome back to Voxel Tycoon. I'm Castron of Sky, and I just got the second part of my COVID vaccine yesterday, so I'm quite happy to be protected, and I highly encourage anyone uh, who has not gotten theirs, if your country has it, please go and get one, because it makes everything safer for everyone. Um, anyway, uh, I'm feeling a bit, <laughs> a bit funky, but I don't care, because I am a Viking, and we do not care about a tiny bit of extra... My arm hurts a bit, but it's fine. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to stuff. We have, uh, God, we have so much to do in this episode. Um, gosh, I kind of want to start with this bridge, but this bridge is very expensive. So we'll, we'll leave that later. Um, anyway, one of our laboratories finished getting, hello, what do you need? Vehicle 17. Ah, yes, that's our train. You know what I'm going to call this? We're going to call this... Uh, passenger train. <clears throat> okay, so that we'll know. Hopefully it'll show up in the alerts. Train 17. Eh, doesn't say. Maybe it'll say. I don't know. Maybe it'll update when it gets a message. Let's see. We were at our uh, researchy area. There we go. And we finished stone processing somewhere. Not there. There. Aha! Stone processing. Now this particular technology unlocks a plethora of new stuff and things. Um, we get gravel and then we have stone bricks. But after that concrete production, we're going to be able to make concrete beams, which requires gravel plus sand. And then we have reinforced concrete beams. And those look like steel beams, which I don't think we're even making anywhere. So this is something that we definitely need to get going uh, so that we can improve our our whole life actually so let's see um another thing that we can do is open up a copper territory we don't have enough money for that just right now but we'll we will get to it i'm quite sure and let's see diesel engine is requiring this mysterious thing called copper wire which of course we don't have because we don't have copper yet but uh yes yeah, so that might be a priority but i'm really interested in all of this concrete production stuff that seems cool however <clears throat> When I set up uh, this stone station down here, <laughs> I didn't anticipate that we would need, that we would have so much production. So what I'm thinking is maybe we should have some kind of a huge production area. Oh my gosh, there's a huge area here that may be a good spot to develop some kind of major train station, as in maybe we can even harvest the stone from here, have a... Um, you know a train carrying from the stone station out here and this is where we can drop off the iron and all of the uh, sand and stuff the terrain looks quite uh quite uh what do you call it easy facile it's uh seems to be all right uh, for a big production area so i'm really liking that option uh do we want to have separate drop-off stations versus pickup stations. I'm thinking yes. I think that we have many things to drop off and we have many things to pick up. So we want to have probably a dedicated um, slot maybe for each type of material coming in and then we can have the outgoing slots as well. What I want to do here though is I'm going to be very sneaky and we're going to just railroad these people in like nope you shall go no farther. This is it. You have no more possibilities to cross here we we prevent you sorry we apologize for the inconvenience but no you're not going there let's see this town i think i also want to do that here and just have a tiny bit of uh, control here over this area because this is also getting a tiny bit out of hand right now do like this kind of thing maybe and then connect that yeah that's fine that'll be fine uh, because initially I was going to put it over here, but I think we pro we may not have enough space or the right kind of space. But this huge, huge area should be more than sufficient. We do have a mountain here, which I want to avoid. Um, but otherwise, it's looking pretty good. So now, where are we going to put stuff? I think maybe we'll put our receiving station on one end and then the input station on the other end. That's my thought. So this is a non-functional rail. We need to change that in some way. Let's see, here we have a decent place where we can have, what I wanna do is have the output coming in and then have the input station as well. 
But if we go up and around, that'll give us more parking. Yes, that's perfect. All right, good, good, good. So here's our input station or input thing. Really? You're going to build a bridge over this tiny little thing? <laughs> Dang, game, why? Um, all right, so let's see. Do we want to do bridgey stuff here? Eh, probably not. I'm thinking it's going to be fine without... I do think that I want to delete some of this and just build a better thing here. I'm going to turn up the speed a tiny bit to get some money. And actually we'll want to get a little bit more here so we can just have that downslope. Make that a little bit easier. Okay, good, good. One more and boom. And then this one is going to go across and maybe, yeah, that seems to work. As long as we can get the signals in there, that's the, oh, and see, check out the new update. They added rail blocks very much like Factorio land. Isn't this great? I think it's great. Uh, so anyway, we're going to do one way this way. We're going to separate these blocks. That's the most important part of this. Um, that's a pre-signal, yes. And this is also a pre-signal so that make sure that there's nothing standing there. Not terribly necessary, but it's fine. Okay, so this is looking pretty darn good. And let us just finish up this station here or finish up the thingy thingy. Car 79, what is that one doing? Hello, where are you? Hello? This one is... Is this the one doing the, the stuff? The, oh, you know what? It's probably, it's probably not getting any material. Is this one supposed to do advanced wood frames? Yeah, right. Okay, so we have an issue here somehow where this is not getting advanced wood frames. The business is going to collapse here shortly. Let's find out what's going wrong. We have advanced wood frames here. In this warehouse, supposedly. Do we have an advanced wood frame train? I believe we do. Wood plank plans. <laughs> advanced barn doors. Is that what they are? Yeah, they're advanced barn doors. So we have Eleonora barn doors, which is just regular ones. So what's going on with this train? Hello? Money earned zero. Why is it money earned zero? This is not good. Let's watch this train and see what it does because it's supposed to refit, right? Let's see what it does here. Okay, so we do refit iron parts, unload, full, refit advanced wooden frames. Maybe we just don't have any? We don't have any. We definitely don't have any. Something has gone very wrong here. Uh, okay, so these are the frame thingies and this belt is wrong. Oh dear. Also, apologies if I haven't gotten to your suggestions of things that I need to fix. I read them all, but I had a really crazy day yesterday and I don't remember any of them. But I'm going to try to do my best. So that should fix itself. Ah, uh, yes. Now then, we were going to finish what we were doing here. So we're going to have just maybe just a long parking lot here. This way, and it shouldn't, I don't think we should really need real parking. I think it's going to be fine. So let's do our short, we can, maybe we can add, so we can add parking here a little bit. So let's do this and then we'll do a corner into the train station. So let us flatten this area. I think that would be beneficial to our strategy here. And then this one needs to be flattened at least there. Okay. Very nice. So there. Basically what I've done here is I can do several parking line lanes here before it gets to the station if needed. So that's my plan there. And here we want to... Oh, saving. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good. All right. Let's do a station. Freight station. Let's have like five maybe. Oh, there is a key for this. Let's see. Z and X make it longer. So I guess you can just mash, or not mash, but just hold X to make it bigger. Okay, that's that's nice. Okay, let's shove this one here. Um, that should be enough space for a signal. So we're gonna put that one there. Just make sure 
that we have a signal and I forgot to pause because um yeah greedy for money greedy greedy but I'm gonna pause now <clears throat> all right so this is gonna be the parking area for this section and we want to do a minimum of having this thing I don't want to do this so if you're new to railroad building what this is gonna do is if I do that um, and I try to put a signal this signal will not fit here so this is bad you don't want to do that you do not want to take uh, these kinds of shortcuts so what I'm doing is click and then click a little bit ahead and then click one tile ahead and then click again to do the curve I feel like this is gonna be a massive train station which is why I'm doing so many things here okay there we go and then we're gonna do the we're gonna do the auto signals first and then we're gonna do the pre semaphore or pre pre signal so we're gonna turn oh multiple mode on spacing um you can put it every 200 meters but it's not really that necessarily that necessary let's see what this highlight signal box is on oh, okay so it just uh shows you stuff i guess since most of our trains are 200 maybe we can do this let's see spacing x and c now i wish it was a little bit more consistent that would be nice consistency is good okay so here it shows us we have one two three three parking spaces for trains and the fourth one is going to block lanes i think we're okay because we have five station slots so we're good but here we need to change this to a pre-signal so that it can choose the correct uh section it's going to go into otherwise it's going to just go uh, like probably the first one and if there's a train there then yeah not convenient so anyway i think what i want to do is take the line from here possibly and go down this um and how do we want to do this this is an uppy uppy downy i think we're just gonna plow through it we're just gonna get the thing let's see the question though is can i put this here maybe i think i can i think i can actually do that right there they'll be close together these input and output but we'll have more space here for factory stuff which i think might be useful so let's see we can do this and that like this and then this that ah but check for signals check 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 yes we can do this good good okay that's excellent and then we can do i'm gonna go ahead and flatten this area right now real quick oh oh we ran out of ran out of paintbrush no nigh the nigh is real go here ah oh, this is beautiful but I do need to move this bridge and this one probably so those need to move a tiny bit once we have train out of the way good stop um and then here let's delete some of this yep there is good that part there then here just make that even that's fine good good now then I'm going to terraform this part into a something like that excellent and we'll have to let's see just get that going just basically moving the edge of the ramp here because as this thing comes through it's gonna need some uh space like to go this way and I think oh I guess we would have been okay but it's okay whoa 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 what's this no 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 that's there are wrong things here I did the wrong thing I did the in out oh geez sorry about that so this is actually in so we're gonna have to move these signals a tiny bit let's just do that we'll do our pre-signal here okay then we have the pre-signal there on this side so that's fine geez that was bad I'm gonna also go ahead and do a pre-signal there so that it makes sure that the next one is available probably I should um yeah that's fine that's actually fine okay now then let's get this this thing going this is let's see this is incorrect actually this this whole track is incorrect because I I messed it up let's do that sorry about Jesus it feels like blooper time right right now because this is an in not an out okay we're gonna last time <laughs> right jeez pre-signal pre-signal 
and we can do regular signal i don't know probably there there is actually fine no this is this is good okay we're done now i hope i promise i think and this is the out we're going out so out is going to be going this way do we want to do just a 90 degree turn we can there we go uh and then out again goes that way because we're doing right hand drive here uh, okay, so signal pre-semaphore is first, out, so we're going that way, and, oh, not that way, jeez, semaphores, come on. And we'll go here as well, so it, and we need one here. Did I block off this? Yes, so you want to make sure that the main lines are separated from each other. So, for example, if I deleted this thing, and we looked at the signals again... So this one means that these two lines are not separated. So the trains would have to wait for the other track to be completely clear before uh, going across. But if we add the signal here, pre-signal, yes, that separates them. And that means they can go left and right uh, independently. So that's nice. Okay, so we have our thing. That is our input station. I'm thinking output station can be over here and we can just do conveyor belts to transport the goods to this side of things. Now then, we have much stuff going on here. This is our out there, I guess. We want to have something similar-ish. Let's respect the landscape a tiny bit. <laughs> tiny bit. Uh, what do we have here? This is this level. This is higher, one higher. Can we do a one higher or do we want to flatten the whole thing? Oh, it seems like a lot to flatten. Let's see, this is a... Okay, so this is quite high. I think what we want to do is have some a little bit higher. So let's do one higher on this level right here. And we're going to do a thing probably here. Now, is this two higher or one higher? That's actually two higher. So... We're going to do a tiny little, like, tunnel thing here, I think. And you don't have to do this. You can completely smash this ground to oblivion. I'm just kind of being, I don't know, enjoying the landscape and all the things, you know. Okay, we are soon running out of money. Well, soon, I guess. Soon, in quotation marks. <clears throat> okay, so this is our level right now. We might have to raise this up a bit. Um, okay, so let's see where we want to go with this here. Let's take our rails and go here. This is going to be the input. So let's take that down there and there. Okay, signaling for the input. Pre-signal to go across a junction. So this one needs to be a pre-signal as well. And then we'll have, we're going to do this part later once we could, so we can do like the parking spaces, how many parking spaces we need. But this is basically going to be a mirror of this section there. So maybe we should even have it at the same kind of uh, like part of the landscape, the same grid squares, maybe. What we can do, we can be cheaty and do this so we can have a ruler. And then because it's paused, we get all the money back. That's nice. Okay, let's, um, we want to level this part like this. La -da 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 -da. Hooray. Okay, good. Very good. So, this is going to be there and a little bit too long. All right, there we go. Better. Oh, dear. Okay, let's just delete that part, delete that part. Okay, nice. And how many squares is this? It's several. That is the answer there. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Sure. That, that number is really very arbitrary. So <laughs> it'll be fine. Let's see. We have 1, so that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's approximately here-ish. That is not uh necessary to have that amount i'm just kind of making it a bit symmetrical here with no purpose other than 
it just I don't know how many we're gonna need we're gonna we're gonna build this though let's see we're gonna have many many of these um, products needed so I'm wondering if we should have a like if we need more like more pickup stations hmm but then again, stuff usually fills up decently. Like, I'm always afraid that stuff is not filling up or whatever. But it does, actually. Stuff keeps happening. Um, so I'm thinking maybe five is enough. Five should be enough. Yeah, it'll be fine. It, You know, and we can always expand it if we really want to. It'll be a mess, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. There we go. Some people have suggested in the comments to, like, add blueprints into the game and I'm thinking I don't really think that's actually necessary not for me anyway maybe it is for other people but I don't know you rarely make these like huge um things so I feel like it's really not not a big deal at all so we learned that from this one that this is there's plenty of room to move around here so I'm gonna do the same thing and just we're gonna flatten a bit of this stuff out let's just flatten this first and the reason for that is because I'm going to make this a flat line and that hopefully will encourage the other trains to or the other things to not make a hill. This uh, might be unnecessary. Oh, we didn't finish this, did we? What I'm thinking of is just doing something that is slightly different here. Change that, 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 and there, and there, and there, there. Yes, okay. And instead of doing that, just do it like this. I feel like that's a little bit more elegant, which is completely not uh, not important. I'm just going to put all of these at the same spot and then here, and then we can do just multiple mode. And it doesn't have to be, you know what? I, I kind of regret doing that. Because in regular areas, I'd rather have more signals. We do not need them to be 200 apart because that just kind of stops the traffic a lot. So anyway, let's go here and, oh, no, 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 nai, 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 do not. Okay, let's go here and, can, no, 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 please. There we go. Okay, oh, this is <laughs> sometimes a little bit annoying, but it's okay, it works. There we go. And by building like this, it saves you a few clicks. Um, all right. So we'll just do the same thing here. And there. Good. So these are all all very good. We need to do the signals here. And then pre-signal as soon as we get the regular parking mode. So multiple mode on 200 is fine. So we're going to change this. And then we're going to get the pre-signal right here. Yes, there we go. Nice. So that's great. Looking very good here. And I want to get, let's get more terraforming done. Oh boy, we actually need money right now. We need the monies. The monies. No. Oh. Passenger train. Oh, that's good. Okay, so passenger train is just like a drain on our economy. But hopefully it's like earning a tiny bit, I'm hoping. Because if it can help grow these uh, cities, that would be extremely useful. There we go. Nice. And we're going to do our signals again, of course. So let's do multiple mode and do, let's see, X. We'll do 75 as previous. There we go. And let's get our pre-signals in here so that it doesn't mess things up. Oh, turn it off. Okay. And then this one... This one is also going to be a pre-signal because I don't want trains stuck here. So that one also has to be looking ahead and seeing if there is a train stood there or not. So these are all good. Wait, are these? Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> I clicked the wrong button when I did the, the thing. I'm just going to replace them manually because I don't want to replace the other ones at the head of the track there. That one is needing to be a train signal. Car 79. Okay. Game, I'm gonna pause and figure out what car 79 is doing. Really? That one is still not working? Why do we not have the barn doors going on here? 
All right, let's find that train, that naughty train that doesn't seem to do much here. Advanced barn doors. Let's see, I'm gonna watch you. So this should be carrying barn doors right now. It is carrying advanced wood frames. Okay, good. Maybe it was because we haven't actually played the game. It's been on pause the whole time. Okay, so concrete beams are available. So this should be fine. I think that's gonna be fine. We just need to let it deliver and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we have built train stations. We have nothing to show for the industry part, but we have built the train stations. Hooray! Uh, all right, so the first thing I think we need is gravel. Let's look. I kind of wish there was a, I don't know, a better... Oh, these are all done. Wow. Okay. Roads 2 has been completed. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Is there anything else? Let's see. Copper smelting. Rails 2. I guess I can do that one. Oh, that one's the other one's waiting for materials. So that's not good. Um, I guess I'm just going to turn it off. Because it doesn't need to be on. I guess. I don't know if it has a drain, does it? Yeah, it does. It has a drain even without the research. So we're going to turn those off for now. It's not much of a drain, but it's eh, something, I guess. When we choose new research, we will notice that it's off. So, Okay, uh, it looks like we just need to fill this area. So I'm going to go ahead and level this. There we go. All right, so we have now Tabula Rasa, the dreaded, like, oh my god, how do I do this thing? I think we're going to start doing by putting down some warehouses. I guess a large warehouse would be appropriate here. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put it right next to. I think it's going to be fine when it's right next to the thing. Or maybe we should leave a couple of spaces. I don't know. Let's let's put it right next to. Should we? Oh, I'm scared now because I am I might have to move them all later. Let's see, uh, we'll put it four away so that in case we have to, that's, yeah, close enough. So this one is gonna accept stone. And this one is gonna be the first product that we're making, I think. Um, and it's gonna go into gravel makers. So let's see what that's gonna look like. If we put in, not these, we need factories. We're gonna pause this because I have no idea what these are like. Ah, okay, so these are like this. That seems fine. Um. Hmm. Let's put them out here because I feel like we're going to need more space in the middle. Um, let's see. Let's get some land flattening abilities going on there. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Let's place a few of these down. I don't know how much. We're, I think we're going to need tons of, of crushed stone for gravel and concrete and all the things. So let's put this maybe there. Yeah, sure. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Can I? What if I did a... What if we did look like this? Does this help us at all? No. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Um, you can put it a little bit closer, I guess. What if we did this and then crusher here? Would have to be there. No, I think, I think it's better just to have them in the same orientation. It's worth looking at, though, because sometimes you can find some really interesting combinations of stuff. So we're just going to do this. We're going to have four of these. That doesn't completely break our bank. And we're going to have a conveyor belt coming this way. I think we'll have the inner belt being the output line because uh, the machines in here might also use this stuff. So that's an important thing to think about. There we go. If you click on the square, a couple of people have mentioned this to me and I, uh, I, I've i known about this, uh, which is really nice. If you click on the square, it gives you different options than clicking on the belt. It's kind of interesting the way that works. Sometimes it doesn't really work very well. So you may have to demolish. It just is a little bit interesting to play with. Okay, so this is going to be the stone coming out of this warehouse. We're just going to leave that a little bit further just because, yeah, I don't want it to connect there. <laughs> it's sometimes interesting. Somebody said that if you use a filter, uh, you can also make conveyor belts extra long in between segments. You'd use that filter. So let's see. Let's get, let's flip this and go there. And that looks correct. 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 
And then this is going to go out. Nice. And it's all working beautifully. Hooray. Okay, so the Crusher has multiple recipes, it looks like. Gravel and stone brick. Uh, so we're just going to choose gravel. But yeah, stone brick is another thing that we can uh, make. I don't know if stone brick is used in other things or not, but yeah. Let's see, where do we want this dividing line to be? Maybe there? I don't know. Let's put a dividing line with the thingy that way, maybe. It doesn't matter. It's cheap enough to redo. Okay, so inner belt is, again, the materials that we are using. Okay, so let's go there. And then we're going to put our first warehouse down. Warehouse, four away. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then input device. There. Good. Very, very good. Okay, I think this is good. So this is going to accept gravel. That's good. All right. Uh, we now have the thing. And we probably should send some of that gravel to Woodland. What else have we been sending to Woodland that we don't actually need? Glass, we have furniture, this, that. Probably nothing we can change here. This one, though. Ah, this is the one. Have we finished the other thingy thingy? Yes, Rails 2 is completed. We can actually start looking at the new stuff, too. Did we get new depots as well? We did. We did get new depots. I'm going to go ahead and replace our one depot with this one. Because, um, why not? We have we have one for the whole map. That's actually an achievement in Mashinki, which is another great train game. I love that game. And, um... So that's a thing. It's a challenge to have only one depot for the whole map because it is quite spread out and quite extensive. Okay, so here we have stuff. We can buy all the things that were grayed out before. Um, and we have no new cars, alas. <laughs> we have no new cars. We do have new engines, which is very nice. But I guess we need... Is, there, is it a research to get those new things? Let's go ahead and press 2 so that we can... Uh, advanced time a tiny bit. Let's see. No, not history. I want overview. I want something. Where is it? I guess it's start new research. Diesel engine two. Oh, rail cars two. That's what we need. And those are iron bars. Oh, geez. Okay. So we can actually make those and send some iron bars down there. There's rails three, which gives us truss bridges. Okay, we have new stuff. So let's get iron bars and steel bars. So rails three, okay. And then you are gonna be rail cars too, because these guys hold 23 items each. Holy fuzzy cats. That's a lot of stuff. All right, so we're gonna start that research and remember to take steel bars and iron bars there. Let's see. And then the other place is gonna... Oh, whoops, I forgot which one it is that is not functioning yet. Rails 2 is gonna be the concrete production because I really want to get that underway. That seems good. All right, and they're all on. So, okay, we need gravel here. We need... We have iron bars. So let's see. We have steel bars coming in. Do we still have that as a... We do. Actually, let's... We can activate some of these trucks. Let's activate, like, three of them, maybe. Okay, so those are good. These guys, where are those going? They're going to center wood planks and more wood planks. Okay, we don't want that. We want to have... So those are steel bars that we got, and then we need iron bars. That's going to be a pain in the socks. But we can change this one over since those are done. Change it to gravel. And we'll get a train to bring that one in. Okay, so Garage 1, let's um, run the game so that we can get rid of some of these cars. Okay, that's what we got. I feel like I should start selling some of these, to be perfectly honest. Uh, let's see. Let's edit this thing. Oops, let's edit this and see if we can actually do iron bars. We can. Okay. Let's change this individual route. And say okay for now. I want to see if we still have those iron bars. Iron bars. Iron plates. Iron parts. 
No iron bars. I think we might have uh, deleted it, which is just fine. This one also needs to be removed. So just clean up the roots when we can. Okay, car 55, where are you? Let's, <laughs> let's go over here and change this root to be... Let's see, iron bars, Nakadoches, steel, metal parts, iron ore, iron plates, coal, iron bars. There we go. Full and full. Good. Uh, we're going to say save as to research. Good. I like this. Excellent. Uh, load and unload. And perfect. Let's copy... Should I copy car 5? I feel like car 5 might be a little bit, you know, not ideal. Um, it's okay. We'll, we'll do this anyway. Since we have the car, it's there. But I'm thinking maybe we can buy a better truck. We need to have a better depot. All right. Let's... Ah, this is perfect. We can delete this right... Oh, building isn't empty. Okay, time to sell all of these. It's time. There we go. Sorry. Yes, sell, 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 sell. Good, good. And we'll just buy a new thing for iron bars and then just copy the route. That's the easiest way to do things here, I think. So let's buy a nothing. We want to buy a new depot first. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's not the right thing. There we go. Stations, depots, garages. Garage two. Yes. Very nice. So... We're going to buy a, a truck that holds the bars. Let's see, is this a bar thing? No, it's not a bar thing. This one has iron bars, so we're going to buy this one. Yes, 102,000. That's wild. Okay, uh, iron bars apply, and I want you to go to the iron bar thingy. There you go. Oh, there's one called Route 36 or something. That doesn't sound good. That's a bit scary. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. So that should solve our research dilemma at the moment, except for we don't have the gravel train coming in yet. So that's going to be probably a mini train. Do we have an engine available? Let's start the game again and get a tiny bit of money. No, we have no extra trains. This is sadness. This is very sadness. But we can make one. First, we need to get stone to the other thing so let's look at what we have here we can try to get um gosh i don't know about the other rail cars though let's let's look at the research and see what speed those new rail cars go in at so let's see rail cars these guys are <laughs> it doesn't say no bad no side no no things bad Okay, let's um, just pick something then. I think what we can do is just, wow, 100 kilometers an hour. High, high power on these guys as well. This one goes 110 and has 800 kilowatts power. This is 2300. Mm. I'm trying to make the rail lines pretty flat in general. So I'm wondering if we can just get maybe like this one. As good power, it's half the price of this one. It's half the power of that one. But I think it should be okay. Hmm. All right, let's grab this guy. And we'll buy... Because I think that these hopper cars are going to be quite heavy. Yeah, 12 tons each. Not that we've actually cared up until this point, but it's fine. So we have an open hopper, which is seven items. These are eight items. That's a good value there. So we'll get these and we'll turn these into into not that because this is the wrong, wrong car. We need to delete this, remove. And luckily we don't have to have this on pause. So we need something that's going to carry the stone blocks. That's what we're looking for right now. Possibly a, not a state car, but a platform car. Yeah, there we go. Stone bricks or stone, just plain stone. I want to have stone in here. Wow, only five? Really? Is there another platform car? No, of course not. I don't think they'd put it in a box car. No. Oh, they, we can also check up here. I forgot about this option, which is super nice. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to just copy and copy some more. Saving. Thank you for saving. 
car 84 has not earned anything. I want to have this max length, by the way, because this is a train that's going to be doing lots of hauling. Okay, so we need this for 643,000. We almost have that much. Car 81, you are doing Eleanor barn doors. I wonder where it's taking those barn doors. Probably nowhere, I'm guessing. We might have to, um, to put those back in the depot. In fact, we can look at this. Is, is there anywhere demanding these? Where are they going? This might be a good figure thing. To Sumter North. Does anybody want barn doors? These people do. I'm wondering if we don't have a train actually delivering barn doors anymore. Wood planks, wood, glass pane, stone, advanced barn doors. Nope, we don't have one actually transporting barn doors. That's not ideal. Oh, and we have a train jam. Train is jammed. This is not ideal. Okay. I wish I could save this and unjam the trains later. This is wrong. Why is this waiting here? Oh, that's bad. This is completely wrong. Because this should never have passed the signal. It's red. Why did it go past the signal? This is so weird. Okay, um, jeez. I think I just need to send this. Let's send this one back to the depot. Because that's the way to fix this, I think. Because we can't actually drive them around and back them up and that kind of thing. We just have to send it to the depot. That's weird, though. That should never have happened. Because this one is red. This See, this one is respecting the signal. That's really strange. Oh, well. It's probably just... Just a buggy thing, maybe. I don't know. However, I might think about actually putting an elevated thing so there's no crossing there at all. That might work really well. Hmm. Okay, there we go. But otherwise, trains are running well. Trains are running really well. Okay, so this has stone blocks. Is that the wrong thing? Wait, why is it bringing stone? Oh, it's bringing stone because stone. I think we're going to actually retire this train. Uh, let's put you in the depot. Because that one is not needed anymore. Because we don't need stone anymore there. Okay, so we'll fix that train in a bit. We're going to buy this one and tell it to go. Go. And we may need a second one. This train might be a second one to go to that place there. Let's check if anyone needs stone. Let's see what's going on here. This is... Hello? Oh, you have no idea where you're going. Oh dear. Okay, that's not good. I forgot to put the schedule on. Whoops. Okay, that that was weird. It actually went the wrong direction. That's. It should have actually stopped at the edge of the depot and said, I don't know where to go. Like, didn't even go out, but it was actually going the wrong... That was weird. Okay, let's see. We're going to load here. Full load, and then add stop here. This is the unload. Okay, and full unload, and say okay. It's moving to depot right now. Go ahead and... Let's see, edit, save as... Sure. Go. Go, go, go. Yeah, this area is very crowded, and I love this part. I love solving train tangles and all of this stuff because it's super kind of cool and important to, to actually get that done. This is such a major annex here. Such a major train station. I'm wondering if it's better to put, like, the parking on this side or something instead of having it in this weird long crossover thing going on here. Car 64 has not earned enough money. These are plain view iron parts? Why? Huh. There's no iron parts getting here. Okay, this one is the iron parts train. Ah, it's because the trains are not running. Okay. Now, someone mentioned that I might have a, a shortage of some materials, as in, like, not enough in the warehouse for, like, iron parts or something. 
We need the barn door train to happen. Uh, this one has, I think, plenty of stuff. Metal parts are definitely plenty of them. Okay. Oh, Sumter with wood frames. Yeah, we need to get this one going. I'm wondering if we should just use this train. Let's change this train to be the barn door train. We'll go ahead and change this up and delete these cars. Let's see. Delete. Delete. That's sad to kind of have to delete all those cars, but it's fine. I should have just reconfigured the other one, but I was being a little bit greedy there. So let's see. We need to get our barn doors, which are in box cars. There we go. All right. And we'll just do a regular barn doors so copy and more copy and more copy let's just do that many I think we probably can't support more than that probably can't support this much to be fair um okay apply changes and then we're going to set the thing here let's change that we're going to I want to delete that route the stone to woodland remove and then the that other one that we had there the sand one can also be removed this one there we go yes now I'm sure a lot of people are wondering like why do I bother naming the route and all that it's because I think in the future we need to add more trains to the routes we haven't quite gotten there yet I'm kind of playing with the factorio mindset a little bit just like planning for expansion um, but that may not be the correct uh, strategy I don't know but it's working so far especially with trucks having them on the same route so let's see we want to go to um, here woodland full load yes and then go to here and unload good and we decided we have the right cargo and we're gonna save it again wood frames yes good good and go all right I'm wondering if these, also these, might be too close together, these stations. Let's go Alt, so that we don't have that weird, just too many, too many labels all over the place. Wow, look at all this iron ore going. This is great. It's all good. Yeah, all the production here is all backed up, so that's not a problem at all. Okay, we have jams here. That's nice to kind of cut through this part. I am feeling like this part may need a, a rejig or something. We could do something sneaky here. Like, okay, I have an idea. I have a, a good idea here. I hope it's a good idea. Or we could just make this these trains go around around instead of having them cross. That might be a better solution. I don't know. But on the other hand, we could do something sneaky like let's remove this one. And we're going to do something kind of sneaky here. What I want to do with this is we need to get this rail up for. So we're going to do a bridge and we're going to go here up for. Like that. I don't know if there's enough space though. That's my major question. Now we need to have a hill here, like there, like maybe I think three by three ish for the curve. I don't know how many it is, but it might be that. Nope, it's more. It's definitely more. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be enough space. This might turn into be a terrible idea. No, no, stop. You had it, thing. You had it. Alternatively, we could go underground. That is another option. Like this. Yes, that's what I want to think. Good. Can I bridge this? Yes, I can. So what we do with bridging, we want to do up four. I guess four is fine. Okay, there is a thing and big thank you to um, 
Shiva Feng, who, who was saying, hey, you can just do this kind of like this way and it's a lot easier. And I'm like, oh, neat. That's really cool. Uh, so that was in Discord. We have a lot of people posting in Discord their favorite stuff and what they're doing. And I think it's really awesome. So if you like to chat with other people um, and playing, playing in games, all that kind of stuff, we have a great, great, amazing community, which I love everyone to bits. They're so great. They're just really great. Okay, let's see. This will create its own fun stuff and then we can lower stuff if unneeded like this be a little bit nice there probably that's not needed let's get this thing there we go yeah good and then i'll get what i do need here is to take this down and down let's take it i think i want to take it all the way down and then just merge here before this entrance I think that's going to be important. I think this might be too high. One, two, three, four. That's interesting because I did it from the base. So it should have been three above this one. I don't understand this, but it's okay. It's fine. Uh, we'll just deal with it. It is fine. Now we're going to level this part, which is there. Yeah, there we go. All right, and take our bridgey, bridgey, bridgey down. There we go. And then I wanna, I wanna just merge it here, like with this stuff. There we go. Nice. Okay. So that's that part of it. Now the other part is here. This is what we need from here. And this is gonna be a funny little thing. Uh, can we do this? Oh no, we might not be able to do this actually. No, we will be. It'll be fine. Maybe, actually, I don't know, because if this is the wrong thingy thingy, I know it's fine. Okay, we'll do this. This probably looks crazy, but it works. This way they can choose the direction they wanna go. And we have a bridge, so there's no crossing here. So that's gonna alleviate some of this interestingness. Uh, all right, so let's do signals here, sure. And one there. We need to delete that little roadblock because it's completely unnecessary. All right, let's just get this part. This is so <laughs> fun. Oh, no, 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 nai, nai, do not. Okay, get back. There we go. Signal this way. Thank you. Signal there and signal right before the merge. Okay, we did a thing. I don't know if this is going to help too much, but it might. You never can tell. So let's see, I think, let's see how that functions. See if this is good or not good. Okay, so this one is waiting for there, that's fine. Just like run it maybe a little bit faster. Oh, first train using the bridge. Nice, and that one does not impede that one's movement. Perfect, beautiful. This is very nice. I want to see a train going to the right. That would be nice. What is this one doing? This is ah, advanced wood frames. Okay, so that one's going to the right as well. But yeah, I think we have a much higher throughput, at least for this junction here. This other area, I think, is what is probably giving us the most issue. I need to figure out a way to fix this. I think it might be to put this parking on this side here. That might be a thing. Ooh, Colorado Springs grew. That's nice. Did they? Or can they? Um, can they demand more stuff from us? Wait, why is coal not being there delivered? Hello? Did we set that up? I forgot if we set it up or not. No, we only have iron ore. They can. They can wait. I guess. <laughs> I think I was supposed to set it up and I just didn't. So anyway, do we have stuff going on here? Yes, we do. We have lots of gravel, which. Did we do a, I don't think we did a gravel train. Oh no, okay. We need to probably do that. Wait, do we have a gravel train? Let's find out. Cause I thought I set one up. No, wood frames, advanced barn doors, glass pane of wood, nope. Okay, so we need a gravel train. Let's just do that real quick. We'll buy, um, yeah, probably one of these, sure. And then get our gravel. These carry eight, okay, nice. 
and there we go copy and we'll just take a little bit of gravel like i don't know six cars there we go i think that's enough That's going to be enough. There we go. Bye. And then let's have our thingy go here on load because that's for the research. And then we're going to go to here. This is going to be load full. Squiggle it up. Wiggly wiggly. Save as thing. That's going to be kind of a temporary thing, but it's still nice to label the root because it's yeah useful. Okay, we did s the wrong stuff. Okay, <laughs> that was the wrong thing because we messed up the, the thing here. We need to go to Plainview Branch, not Annex. Okay, let's just change this one to that one. And now we're okay. All right, let's watch this thing as it's coming down. All right, there we go. Zippity zippity. Go, go, go. I love watching all the trains zipping around. This is so nice. Okay, it's going in. Oh, first train to arrive at the station. Oh, this is great. We're gonna load quickly. Nice, nice. Good, good. And that means we're gonna get our research started. This is great. Oh, I love this game. It's so much to do in this game. And it's really nice with stuff. And I'm so glad that they're like just improving things and making things better and all that. It's pretty great. Okay, so that one's supposed to go there. Nice. And into the station. All right. Very good. Okay, so now research can happen. Okay. Rails 2. This is this is this one that needs all the stuff. Wow. Jeez. Okay then. Looks good. I think this is a good time to end uh this episode. Um, but I'm hoping you enjoyed it. I have certainly enjoyed it. It's been pretty great. So anyway, um, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.